All right, this is part two of this uh, series on Twitter and how to use it. Remember, the mantra here is social media is only as good as its content. As we did last time, we talked about sources of content, searching the web, signing up for newsletters, following blogs, and Google Alerts. Well, whatever source you come up with for a story or an idea that you want to tweet, uh, you can certainly do that using Buffer, as we showed you last time, but also through TweetDeck. And TweetDeck uh, used to be a separate company, and then Twitter bought them, so they're actually part of Twitter now. And there's a really good uh, support area for Twitter. If you go to support.twitter.com, you'll find all kinds of good stuff about how to use Twitter and also how to use TweetDeck as well. Well, let's go ahead and jump into TweetDeck and how I use it. So here we have my Google Alerts again, and if I click on this particular one, I'm looking for... This story has to do with drones, which is something I'm interested in. And I've uh, done a number of tweets about drones in education. So if I open this up, and I can see this is a news story out of a Ohio newspaper. I think it's a reputable source. And just going through quickly, I can find out uh, Miami University, uh, which is a university in Ohio, and Sinclair Community College in Dayton, Ohio, are working together on this, and that's the gist of this story. It's not a lengthy story. I've actually done some tweets on Sinclair and their drone initiative, so it's sort of familiar territory. And what I've done is I have already searched for some of the things that I would probably add, like the Ohio Higher Education, which is over both the university and the community colleges there. And here's Sinclair. This is Miami University. And then there's this uh, publication specifically about drones. And I'm probably going to want to reference that as well. So here's one way to do it with TweetDeck. Well, first off, we're going to do this kind of manually. And so I'm, I'm going to take the uh, headline here. Agreement with Sinclair gives Miami drone access. I'm going to right click and copy that. Now I'm going to go to my tweet deck, which I always have open. All right, let's just uh, leave that uh, clipboard item there for a minute and take a look and see what's in tweet deck. Tweet deck lets you configure your Twitter feeds, and you can do that. Here is my one and only uh, Twitter account that I have in TweetDeck. You can use multiple accounts. So if you're doing personal tweeting and you're doing tweeting for your business or, or organization, you can keep track of them separately. Personally, I don't do that and I don't like to do that even. If I'm going to have two accounts, I'm actually going to use two different browsers. So for example, for this account, I might use Chrome. And if I had another account, I might use Internet Explorer as the browser or Safari as the browser. That's just an easier way for me to do it. But anyway, this is my account and I'm linked uh, to TweetDeck under Lawrence, at Lawrence G. Miller. There are some scheduling aspects that you can do with this as well. And what I have is I have four columns set up here. And if I wanted to add another column, I could uh, do that by clicking on this. And I could choose a column type. So I could get like the people that are actually mentioning me in a tweet. Or I can get favorites in a, in a column. But I don't really need to do any of that. I'll show you the four columns I have set up. This one over here, which is called Home, this is just the same as my regular 
Twitter feed. So this is just my stream that comes to me on Twitter. And as you can see, since I follow about almost 2,000, I'm getting stuff just constantly. And this is real time here. So, But when I see something that I'm interested in, like, for example, if I wanted to look at this organization or if I actually wanted to take a particular tweet itself I can actually put it into buffer see that buffer icon right there I can also uh, do this thing which is called uh, quote um, or retweet this is a reply to the originator of this which is uh, technology news so if I wanted to say to technology news hey this is an interesting story do you have any more on it I can create a dialogue on Twitter that way I can also favorite this particular one now this takes me back to my stream here and so this is all stuff that's just coming real time the next column over here is what I have scheduled to go out on TweetDeck and as you can see this one's coming up fairly soon and I've actually got a couple of these that are scheduled out like that one's even next week so sometimes I'll take the same tweet and you can see these two are the same tweet and I'll send it out multiple times there's really nothing wrong with that in fact a lot of of the social media experts say that if it's really really important it's probably worth tweeting more than once the next over here this is called notifications so anybody that does something with my tweets for example if they favorite a tweet or if they follow me uh, this is actually a little dialogue I've had going with this company called Kaltura and uh, I was in a webinar a virtual conference with them and so they thanked me for being in part of that favorites retweets favorites favorites follows so if I get a follow then sometimes I'll send them a message specifically to them and the way I would do that would be to let's find one here that's I probably have already thanked uh, this person for following but let's just say uh, I wanted to thank this person so I click on this little icon right here and this lets me do some different things here I can I can actually follow them if I want to and I encourage you to follow people that have interests similar to you or organizations similar to yours I can send them a direct message a direct message means it's not going to appear in the Twitter stream out there it's just a personal message uh, I can if there's something kind of weird uh, I don't want that person uh, it's not unusual to get something pornographic on occasion I can just block them uh, and uh, get rid of them or if it's something real serious I can actually report it to Twitter and help you know they'll help uh, deal with it but if I wanted to just thank this person I can click and this is the editor over here so it opened this up and I could say thanks for following and just click that now to close that without doing anything I just click on that box alright so over on this these are my actual tweets that have gone out every one of these is going to be me unless I actually straight retweet something and it'll show up over here as well but this is as you can see these are a whole lot of messages with just me saying thanks for following and I think that's a very good strategy to do now let's get back to using TweetDeck uh, for pushing out the content 
and we're talking about that drone story. So we're going to open this editor up and I already have this on my clipboard so I'm going to paste it in here and so we can see agreement with Sinclair and that doesn't uh, tell me much. I'm going to say Sinclair Community College, Ohio gives Miami drone access and I'm going to put Miami U for university drone access. That's a reasonable kind of a headline in there and I'm going to insert my vertical separator that I like to use. Now I'm going to go back to that story which I had opened up in another window and I'm going to copy this URL up here. Copy. Go back to TweetDeck and paste that in. Okay, so there's the URL. Now guess what? TweetDeck does the same thing as Buffer. It's going to shorten your URL. It doesn't actually show up here, but look over here where I've got uh, this schedule tweet here. See how short that is? That is one of the beauties of using Buffer or TweetDeck is you can take a really long URL like this one and shorten it considerably. And of course when you're dealing in the 140 character world that's really really important. What else can we put in here that helps? Um, well the main thing is uh, drones but I see drone, drone, singular, up here. And so I'm just going to put a hashtag in front of that. Uh, this is not drones access. This is actually drone access. All right. So let's go back to my page that I had opened. And if you remember, I saved some of these other things up here. I would say the most important thing is probably Sinclair Community College because that's where the drone initiative is. And uh, by the way, you can I can see right here that Sinclair is following me, which is good, but it's probably because I tweet stuff about them on a fairly regular basis. They are really one of the better community colleges. So let's paste that in there. And I've still got 44 characters left. Let's go back. And we probably want to get uh, Miami University in here. Now this is Miami University of Ohio, not the University of Miami in Florida. Go back to TweetDeck again and right click and paste and I've still got 27 left so I've got some space that's good and I'm gonna go back to the story again and I probably will go ahead and take Ohio higher education now the reason I'm doing this is simply because they oftentimes appreciate uh, at a level that uh, maybe even the others don't a tweet that goes out with good things that are happening at their schools. So there's that and I still have 13 left. Let's go back and see this final one up here which is uh, the Drone Times. Right click and copy. Go back to Tweet Deck again. Okay, look at that. One left. That's perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to schedule this tweet. And so here's the interface. This is today. This is the current time. Now, you recall when I send out my tweets on Buffer between 1 and 3. So I really want to probably do this 
maybe 4 10 p.m. tweet at 4 10 p.m. I'm clicking that and okay so these two are ahead of it and here we are so that's the one I just created and it has all the stuff now if, the, if I notice a mistake in here I can click on edit and I'm back to that so that's how to use TweetDeck to manage your tweets I think it's a great tool and uh, it's definitely something you want to learn how to use